Welcome to this how-to guide series brought to you by the Center for Innovation in Learning and Teaching at the University of Cape Town. If this presentation feels a little rough around the edges, it's because we're aiming to show what you can do in limited time with simple tools. That's because we believe in the everyday user using tools and resources that you have access to, to make material that represents your world. Hi, I'm Janet and I'm going to tell you how to create a narrated PowerPoint presentation. Firstly, you'll need either a laptop or a desktop computer. We don't find that mobile devices can really do this. And you need a good mic. Either you can use the built-in mic of your laptop, like I am, or you'll need a headset with a external mic, like the one in the photo. So go ahead and create your PowerPoint slides as you normally would for your lecture. And once you're ready, to present your lecture, open the PowerPoint presentation in the slideshow view. You can see the tabs marked at the top. And look for the Start Recording button. It may be in a slightly different place depending on which version of the program you're using or if it's Mac or Windows, but it's fairly easy to find. I've done a short recording to show you what you'll see. So you'll um, go to that button, look for the Start Recording, make sure you select from the beginning. And then you might be asked a few questions there that should be checked as a default. Make sure they are and then get started. And once you, you can start speaking, you'll see the counter running on the top left hand side or somewhere else on the screen. It's pretty nifty because as you're speaking, it will capture the audio alongside the particular slide. So when the student's watching it, they will hear your voice speaking to the relevant slide. Once you've finished your lecture recording, just look back through the slides to make sure that it's been captured. You should see a little icon that looks like a speaker at the bottom right hand side of each slide. That gives you some idea that it's been saved as an audio file. Lastly, we'd really suggest that you create notes to accompany your um, lecture because even though you're hoping students will listen to this if there's any problems with playback you want to make sure they've got another way of getting the content so you can create notes and the, you're either able to type them into the notes section of the PowerPoint or you can create a separate document clearly indicating which text goes with which slide. Now you're ready to save and upload the presentation to your Vula site or wherever else you're planning to share it with students. So if you, um, once you've completed the processing of your lecture in this format, just make sure you provide instructions and communication to students about the resource. So if it's a video, you should just indicate that and maybe about notes or if it's in the PowerPoint, just make sure students are aware of the fact that when they open the PowerPoint in their own PowerPoint program, they shouldn't look at it in the mode that we're just looking at it now on the screen. They need to be watching it in present mode so they can hear the narration. So you just need to make sure that they go to the slideshow tab, they press uh, play slideshow, and perhaps if there are any issues, you could draw their attention to the set of options that should by default be ticked. But if anybody's querying them, they could look to make sure the settings are reflecting the um, narration and the, you know, the mouse clicks. So if there are any issues uh, for troubleshooting, you could suggest they look there. Good luck. Hope it works out. If you're looking for more resources, you can find those at the UCT SALT website, which is brought to you by the Center for Innovation in Learning and Teaching. All of the images in this screencast are publicly available and freely reusable, so please feel free to reuse this screencast. Thanks so much for listening, and bye for now.